animals oh bio friend is so brave to live with wild animals hello bio friend is it safe to talk hey cosmo what are you learning today oh sh 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 i'm studying wild animals first question how do you stop grizzly bears from eating you <laughs> bears eating me I thought that people lived with animals. Yes, but we live with domesticated animals. They've been bred to live with humans, like dogs that keep us company, or chickens that are grown for food, or horses that can carry people. Wild animals live without humans. There are only 38 species of domesticated animals and millions of species of wild animals. They can be as tiny as a tardigrade and as huge as a blue whale. Oh. Oh, okay. Domesticated animals seem safe, but I still think you would be much safer without grizzly bears. What if I made all the wild animals disappear? Cosmo, no! Let's explore BioFriend's safer world. Did you know that many people hunt and eat wild animals? In the Arctic, the Inuit depend on wild animals as a healthy and cost-effective food source. Around the world, 4.3 billion people eat wild fish as an important source of animal protein. Without wild animals, many people worldwide would be malnourished and hungry. Oops! I made the pollinators disappear! One third of the food on your plate is a result of wild pollinators like insects, birds, and bats. Around the world, bees alone pollinate almost 900 food crops. No wild bees means almost no apples, avocados, cucumbers, and squash. Ugh, what's that smell? Scavengers eat rotting meat from dead animals. A vulture's bald head lets them feast without getting their feathers dirty. Without wild scavengers, dead wild animals wouldn't be eaten and their rotting bodies could spread diseases to humans. Ugh. What's wrong here? Without wild animals, soil quality would drop. Animals like earthworms eat dead plants at the surface of the soil. The worms then dig down into the soil and deposit their nutrient-rich <laughs> poop. And the constant tunneling of ants breaks up the soil. This allows water and oxygen to reach deeper into the ground. Without these wild animals, farms wouldn't grow as much food. Many medicines were first discovered in wild animals. High blood pressure, my grandpa has that, is treated with a medication discovered in viper venom. Type 2 diabetes is treated with a medication found in the saliva of a gila monster. Ugh. Without wild animals, some new medications would never be discovered. I've changed my mind about wild animals. How can I help? We need to act now. In the next 100 years, Earth could lose half of its wild animals because of habitat loss, pollution, climate change, and overhunting. Here are some things that my family does. We planted a garden to help pollinators, we only buy things that we need, and we ride our bikes and walk as much as we can. Wild animals have as much right to exist on planet Earth as humans do. Huh, that's a good way to think about this. Okay, bye, bio friend. Bye, Cosmo. Hmm, which chapter should I research next? Cosmo! Hey everyone, Cosmo here. A world without wild animals doesn't sound like fun. Luckily, wild animals are all around you. What if you explored your community 
and discover who your wild neighbors are. Step one, find an adult. Step two, let's go for a walk. Working together, choose an area of your neighborhood that you predict will have the most wild animals. Consider things like what do animals eat and where will animals find shelter? Step three, on your walk, stop and listen for animals. Do you hear any birds singing or insects buzzing? Step four, if you see any mud or soft dirt, stop and look. Do you see any animal tracks or footprints? Who might have left them? Step five, look under rocks and logs. Do you see any animals like worms or insects hiding there? Carefully put the rock or log back before you leave. Happy exploring! And I'll see you next time on What If Kids. Goodbye!